Uh, the user actually uh, they're from different areas, like say the new uh, new model, uh, new economics company, like the internet company. Mm -hmm. These are the most people, the fintech people, and uh, you know sometimes like uh, mm, so-called uh, multimedia people, and uh, we also have a lot of NGO uh, companies in the mainland China. Uh, the our users, um, we have the company like uh, you know those very fast-growing company. Uh, most are the international based company. Why do they yeah. why do they like uh, co working then? Because they are they normally they quickly go into ten, twenty different cities. There are people like maybe yesterday just hundred, uh, a week later maybe just three hundred. Mm -hmm. So they have totally no no time and uh, no energy to arrange the office. Then they also need to quickly settle down in a different city. Then you know the, the members of the of the staff they grow very fast. So I think uh, this kind of flexi flexibility they need rather than those like kind of the old style of office, mm -hmm. yeah, cannot provide them, yeah. Is there any mm. notable differences between uh, co-working users mm. in China versus mm. say outside of China? Uh, yeah, essentially uh, I think the, 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 the quite similar, but for the Western country and uh, maybe you know, for the American, we look at the more freelance people um, one or two individual people, the user also quite a lot. But mm. in China, it's still uh, a company basis. Right. Yeah, something we call 2B. Uh, is still the taking the biggest, uh, um, uh, you know, part of the user. Yeah. And and yeah. does that affect how the kind of services or offerings you give to uh, these users because they are more small businesses mm -hmm. rather than freelancers? Uh, yeah, I think freelance. Yes, we have some, but mm -hmm. it's not the major part. Right. The business, I think, the company business still the still taking the major. But not only small business, we also have some like multinational uh, company, the 500 Fortune company. Some of their department division, mm -hmm. they will put into the co-working right. space. This cut their cost, mm -hmm. save their time, and also more efficient. Actually, mm -hmm. yeah. What is what is the priority uh, for you community in the coming year? Maybe you can share with us the mm -hmm. expansion plan. We, um, yeah, uh, in China now we're in 31 cities. Mm -hmm. We are targeted to go into 40 cities, uh, I mean mo most active and, uh, you know, most advanced uh, cities. 40, I think, is not a big number in China. And uh, we, are, we are very keen to look at the you know, Southeast Asia countries like Singapore, Hong Kong, uh, China, Taipei, and also we are looking at the mar call market. And uh, we are in Jakarta, uh, we are going to in, in Bangkok. Kuala Lumpur and uh, Hanoi, the kind of cities. And uh, we're also quite uh, intent to look at those cities like uh, London, Berlin, those mm -hmm. very hot co-working cities. We're already in New York, yeah. Right. yeah. As you expand into uh, these cities, these mm. areas, uh, mm. no doubt you come into uh, competition with some of the entrenched uh, local mm. players. Mm. I think one of them uh, that's, you know, on that's really prominent is uh, WeWork. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you differentiate your services from a competitor like that? Ah, okay. I think first, we all hospitality companies. Even you're talking like hotel, in the whole world, like 2,300 different hotel brand companies. So for the service office, for the uh, co-working office, I think now there are few uh, famous players in the world that we work, uh, maybe you come in China. So I think the number is still the, is, is still not so many. Mm. Uh, we're going to have many, I think. But for those key players, definitely they have their own advantage and a different kind of uh, characters. For us, which actually we are the biggest in China market, we have the bigger networking of city base. We mm. have now 30, 40 cities. I think this is one of our advantage. We can easily save, serve the companies the who they want to go to the, those major cities in China quickly to find office there. Secondly, actually, we have our own uh, company service platform online. This, I think, is our uh, new characters, different from other players. So we have the, the, the app. We have put all the company on the app. They even have their, uh, their shopping centers. They can sell their goods on the, on, the, on the platform. They have their advertisement, their information board. They sharing their resources, sharing no knowledge, and sharing the information on that. So we have a 2B, uh, so-called 2B business service part online. And this is also our differences. Mm -hmm. We have going to have 10,000 companies very soon. 
So that is a big goal for that. Yeah. With mm. with such growth, I mean, the, the question comes to uh, your source of funding, or your fund, your funding needs. I mean, how are you yeah. doing for funding? Are you looking to raise more funds? We are working on the D round mm -hmm. of uh, funding uh, right now. Yeah, it's still on the way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a target for how much you want to raise for this round? Um, we are target like uh, um, yeah, 200, 200 million uh, uh, US dollar, the kind of, mm -hmm. yeah, this time. Yeah. And how, how's the mm. response been so far? This so far is quite good. We are talking with like um, more than 10 uh, potential investors, mm -hmm. yeah, right and now. And is yeah. the plan uh, eventually to, to seek a listing, an IPO? Uh, that is our most, uh, one of our most pop possible planning okay. in the future two, two to three years. Two to three years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, where yeah. do you think uh, I think Hong Kong is one place. of the important places yeah. <laughs> to us, and also the mainland China also, mm. also was very possible. Recently, you know, the China government and the Hong Kong uh, government also give a lot of very good uh, and very advanced uh, condition for the unicorn company, for the new so-called new economics companies, mm. actually give us a lot of, uh, you know, uh, convenience for us to consider as uh, IPO rather than before. Okay. Yeah. So would you say mm. Hong Kong would be your, your top choice? As of now? Hong Kong is one of the yeah, top choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. We're also looking at Singapore, <laughs> yeah, something right. like that. Yeah.